Hi there, I'm Mark Mullins with Fluke Networks, and today we're going to talk about the three different levels of cable testing, verification, qualification, and certification. First, we'll show you how to verify a cable using the Microscanner PoE, then qualification, as demonstrated by our Cable IQ, and finally certification, as demonstrated by our DSX-5000. Now, there's a hierarchy of performance here, and we'll demonstrate that as we go through. Let's start with verification with the Microscanner PoE. Verification is concerned with three things. Is the cable wired properly? Where does it go? And is it broken and how far away is the break? And with that, I can use the Cable IQ to check that out. So I plug in one end here, plug the other end into the remote, turn it on, and in just a couple of seconds I'll see the cable 63 feet long, it's wired properly, and it's connected to identifier number one. Now verification testing won't tell me what type of network traffic the cabling can handle, and that's where a qualification tester like the Cable IQ comes in handy. With Cable IQ, I can connect a cable and then find out if it's capable of handling 10, 100, or gig by just hitting the test button here. And you'll see it can handle 10 meg, 100 meg, and even gigabit ethernet. I can even drill in and get more detail if I'd like, like for example the cable length shown here and the cable wire map, just like I could get with the Microscanner PoE. In addition, the Cable IQ can even generate reports so you can document your entire cabling plant and see how it performed. Now the most thorough form of cable testing is what's called certification. Certification is usually done against standards such as the Telecommunications Industry Association, the TIA, or the ISO, the International Standards Organization. You've probably heard of, say, CAT5E or CAT6 cable. That's what they're talking about. Now, certification is usually done when new cabling is installed in a building. It's often done by contractors. And in many cases, they're more interested in testing the permanent part of the cable, which goes from a jack in the wall to a jack in a patch panel, than they are at testing the entire cabling, including the patch cords, because the patch cords can change. So this product supports both. It can test both the channels using this adapter or the permanent link. Now, the permanent link adapter is designed so that the performance of the cable that you use to do the testing is not included in the measurement. And that's one of the reasons it's so big. That's also the reason it's so rugged. It's designed to be used a lot of times and uh, be very, very reliable. So we're going to do a permanent link test with this. Now I have to pick my standard that I want to test against. And here I'm going to test against a Cat5 permanent link. So we select that test and we're ready to go. Now certification testing does take a little bit longer because the tests are so thorough. But in a few seconds you'll still get a result. Now you see here it's generating diagnostics. That usually means that the cable has failed. And we'll find out why in just a second. Now here's the result. Top of the screen you see a big fail. You see all these different measurements that the tester has made and this specific one, return loss, which we'll explain later, is the one that failed. So what this is telling me is since the cable passed with the Cable IQ, that means it's good enough for gigabit ethernet. But the Versive is telling me it doesn't meet Cat5e standards. And that means while it can run gigabit ethernet, it may not be able to run some future standards or even some of the newer standards that have been adopted for Cat5, such as 2.5 and 5 gig ethernet, and maybe even power over ethernet. And finally, the certification testers like these can generate these very thorough test reports, which are very important if you're a contractor and want to document your work, or provide these to a manufacturer to get warranty verification. And that's it. Verification, qualification, and certification. Choose the right tool for the job and you're ready to go.